The consequences of heavy rains witnessed here in the country from March to May this year. Thousands of people left displaced by floods. Up to today, many of the displaced persons have not been able to return to their normal lives. In a report released today, dubbed Climate Change Impact in Kenya, more than 300 people died as a result of these floods, with a million displaced. Overall, it's making our people uh, weaker economically, it is making them poorer, it is decimating livelihoods uh, and, and income opportunities, and it, the recovery period between one emergency and another is getting much shorter. So very little opportunity for communities to bounce back, to recover and to rebuild. Uh, as we speak now, many families, thousands of families, are struggling with how to rebuild their homes in the Tana River area, in the Nyando Basin. Um, and, and, and these are populations that had been affected just uh, previous in the previous season by the El Nino phenomena in the October, November, December rainfall season. Meanwhile, another report on improving water security in Kenya's drylands in light of climate change shows that groundwater levels are continuously decreasing, especially in urban areas, posing a major threat to the construction sector. With those volcanic rocks, we have what we call the basement system rocks. Okay, these are very old, impervious uh, rocks. And in Nairobi, they are lying at about 400 meters, plus or minus a couple of uh, tens of meters, depending on where you are. And uh, that will be the end of the groundwater in Nairobi. So we're actually, in my mind, I think we're already sitting, targeting the last level of the aquifer in Nairobi. So what is going to happen? Here we are, we, are, we have compressed our upper level aquifers, so they are storing less water. And uh, the very last aquifer, we are also maybe possibly abstracting much more than we should, so it is also compressing and losing its storage. So at the end of the day, Nairobi will be a place where you cannot rely on groundwater anymore because we are going to have dry holes, they are just going to become dry. The two reports have proposed various measures to address climate change, both nationally and continentally, such as the use of green energy, among others. Dan Kaburu, K24, Nairobi.